In this video, I will show you how to connect your hosting or domain to your WordPress website. So to do this, what you want to gonna do is first go to WordPress and then go to upgrades right here and click on domains. Now from within your domains, click add new domain in the top right. And here, just gonna click on use a domain I own. Now here, type in the domain that you bought on Hostinger, which for me is this, and then click continue. Now, since I'm on the free plan, for me, I cannot do this right now, but if you click on connect your domain, so keep your domain with your current provider and point it toward wordpress.com, which is what you want to do. You then want to just go and click on select, but you can see for me, it takes me to checkout since I need to buy an annual plan in order to be able to do this. But for you, it will then take you to the DNS records that you need to use to point your hosting or domain to WordPress. And what you want to do with those DNS records is go to Hostinger, then go to your domains right here, then go to the domain you are connecting. So for me, this one and go in and click on manage. And from there, click DNS and name servers. Here, just gonna delete the DNS records that you currently have since you don't need those when you're connecting to WordPress. And then here you can add the records you need. So often you need to enter an A record or a C name. And for the name, you often need to do either www or something like this. And then for the target, just enter whatever they added after the name and then click add record. And after you add in all the records that you need to add in, it could be one, two, three, or even four. Then after you do that, you will need to verify it. Often it won't work instantly since propagating the DNS record. So basically aligning it and fully connecting it can take up to 24 hours, but often it takes less than 20 minutes. So just try after doing it. If it doesn't work instantly, wait a few minutes and eventually it will work if you enter the DNS records correctly, which is fairly simple. And then it will be pointing to WordPress and then after you verify it, it will also be connected to your website. So now you know how to connect your hosting or domain to WordPress. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.